Cheryl. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the weekly boss randomizer. This is Crazy Bat Lady, and today I'm really hoping that we get Hu Tao. I've got Hu Tao right here for good luck because I've never rolled her on a single randomizer, and this is episode, what is this, 15? So, hopefully, 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 we'll get Hu Tao and some good supports to go with her but we'll have to see if you haven't watched one of these before the rules are very simple i roll from a wheel and i can only use the characters that i roll i have to beat all the bosses i can't revive during the boss fights no food buffs different characters each week and no same teams twice this does not apply to bosses so let's see what we got on this magical wheel hoping for hu tao Diana, okay, that's that's a shielder for Hu Tao. Who do we got here? Uh, Amber, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, come on, oh, oh, Yahoo! finally. Got the Hu Towsers. Okay. Alright, who's gonna be the support here? Kinda need a support for Hu Tao. <laughs> Albedo. Shit. Uh, if you didn't already know, Albedo doesn't work on most of these bosses, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I think I can make this team work. Now, who are the boss? Oh! Um, I'm doing the event boss, so that's a given. I'm doing the Oceanic Defender boss since it's an event boss. The second one is going to be the Primoji of a shop. Let's see what we got. Thunderman again. We got two more. No Oceanic Defenders, please. Golden War Floor. Well, you know what? We, I think Albedo will help there. So Albedo will definitely have a use here somewhere. And Andreas. Okay, that's not a bad roll. I can make this work. All right, let's take a look at the builds. So here's Hu Towsers. Um, got her with the Staff of Homa. Uh, four piece crimson witch just ignore the terrible goblet that i have here just, just don't look at it and pretty standard setup for her i have her constellation one and she's the only limited five star that i have a constellation for all right here's diona with her shield build once again got the sack bow uh tenacity just full hp on everything as much as i could possibly get do intend in investing her in a little more because she is c6 and you know she, she's a pretty decent shielder uh here's alfredo he's got the cinnabar spindle uh two piece husk two piece archaic because i can't get a four piece husk that is good for him but this works fine this works pretty well He's not going to be doing a ton, but he's going to be doing a lot more than Amber. I just straight up gave Amber Ganyu's artifacts. And also the Skyward Harp. I hope Fischl doesn't mind too much. Alright, these are okay artifacts. You know, not going to be doing any crazy damage numbers there. I do have a constellation for her and level one talents across the board. So, all right, let's get started with the Oceanic Defender or Bisht. 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 I, I, I'm probably butchering that. I wonder if Albedo works here. Does Albedo work here? He does. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. Went down. You know what? You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. I thought this boss was like way too easy. 
I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because they have, like, pretty strong characters, but I just thought this boss was too easy. I was expecting some sort of raid boss or something. I don't know why, but I, that's what I was expecting. And uh, a little more, a little bit more robust. But this is also great because people who don't have like the good gear and stuff and good artifacts can still do it. So that's really awesome. However, I do wish there was like a harder mode for this. It is really nice designed boss. Like, I think this thing is absolutely badass. I love it. It kind of reminds me of, like, Leviathan or... I don't know. It almost feels like an Elder Dragon fight, but, like, to a way, way lesser extent. Like, this would make for such a cool Monster Hunter boss. Just saying. You know, I there is no Hydra in Monster Hunter. That's the weirdest thing. You'd think there would be by now. Alright, well that thing got shredded. Let's go on to the Primo Geofish app and wake his ass up. Look at those mad plunging damage numbers. It's just insane. Alright. It's weird not having uh, Mona or Xingqiu or Rosaria for Hutao, but, you know, it's all good. It's all good. We got Myra Resonance. We got Diona. We got Alfredo. Um, you know, it's all good. It's all in good fun. The main thing is I got Hutao, and I've been wanting to get her one of these challenges, so I'm so excited. Watch, I'm going to roll her every week now. <laughs> Of course, we cannot have the same two characters in a row, but I'm willing to bet that next week I will roll her on the wheel, whether I have to re-roll or not. Alright. That wasn't bad. That was pretty fast, actually. I mean, compared to Asia de Ha, he's, you know, kind of, kind of late. But he's still on there because that can be a fucking challenge for certain teams. Like, to refer to him as Baby Ejdaha. I mean, that's essentially, like, I don't know what I think of that thing. And here we got the Thunder Manifestation. And I don't know if Albedo's ability works here. Oh, it does. It does. I think. Is it working? I, I can't. Oh. I don't have any ranged characters. Oh, wait, I have Amber. But. That's Amber. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want Amber. Oh, how dare you! Just decided to, like, fuck right off when I was casting my ability. Maybe. Yeah, I usually like to use ranged characters for this, for sure. Oh, damn. Wait, I was in the shield. How the hell? Diona just got clapped in her shield. One thing that really bother bothers me about Diona's shield is that, like, you can still get knocked back when you cast it. Like, I wish uh, you wouldn't get interrupted. I don't know. Maybe I'm just spoiled from Shangli's meaty shield. But I do feel like there should be, like, a little bit of interrupt reduction from casting her shot. Little kitty bubble. Alright, Amber, you got this. You got this with that melt. Hey, she's propping the albedo stuff, so that's all good. <laughs> Yet another uh, boss that you want ranged for. Like, this is one of those bosses that you almost need Geo for, but you can make it work without Geo, it just takes forever. That's why I didn't exclude him from the list. Like the cubes, because the cubes absolutely need certain elements. At least for the most part. Not all of them, but for the most part they do. 
like the, uh, the animal hypostasis does not, I believe, need a certain element. And the... Yeah, most of them just require certain elements. I, I, I won't talk about that all day. Alright, so gonna get these heads. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem to proc, but at least the initial casting of his elemental skill will work. There we go. Yeah, this is a really cool boss, too. Oh, I can't dodge. <laughs> There's nothing I could do there. That was just like a, you're gonna get hit, whether you like it or not. Ooh, wow, everyone's health is pretty low. Got all those corrosive procs. Right. Not entirely sure why he did that. I'm trying to heal Hu Tao, but you know, whatever. Eh, yeah, where are you going? He's just like diving off into space and and he's gone just like that he's just he just nope the fuck out okay so who's the next boss again oh the wolf we got the wolf all right come on amber this is your time to shine Get that Baron Bunny in there. Also, I lied. It's more Fu Tao's time to shine. You know, it's a really surprising thing is I have not tried Yunjin with Fu Tao yet. You'd think I would have after all this time because I've tested her with so many characters, but I have not tested her with Fu Tao. Oh, Amber! He was supposed to hit the Baron Bunny. But he just, he just wanted Amber dead, apparently. It's pretty mean. I should have just been hiding up here. I don't think he can get you if you're, like, up in the air. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's get him. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You know, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, one thing is, just for fun, I tried to go and fight Ishtaha with this team. And it went about as well as you'd probably expect. But... Yeah, um... Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this week's randomizer. Um, please do leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you around next week. Bye. You got Poor Amber. But wait, there is more. I actually got in artifact from Ishtaha that I want to roll live here. Let's see what we got. It's a crit rate, crit damage, and attack percentage. Circlet, will it be good? Not seeing a lot of crit damage there. Okay, so 15% attack percentage is actually pretty good. Uh, I would have preferred crit damage, but, you know, that's almost like a full set of Gladiator. So, anyways, have a nice day! <laughs>